Look at what I discovered. He just dropped it, but yeah, they found out about my magnet and they really liked it. So I have to hang it, I don't know, like maybe here. Yeah, no, they're going to <laughs> grab it anyways, maybe here for now. Until they have forgotten about it and then I can just place it back. Why are you guys so interested in it? You have so many toys already. Oh my God. No, you are not. <laughs> Seriously, come on, come on. No, 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 no. Why are you so interested in it? Does it have like catnip in it maybe? What is it? You're acting as if it has like catnip. No, no. Okay, let's place it like here. It doesn't look very cool, but you know, that's, I think that's the only place they cannot get to. Do you hear the pisash? Pocha. Good boy. Do you see little Ralph over there? It's my little spider. He belongs in my lemon tree. He's so cute. So I have trimmed down my lemon tree because like I said, I don't want it to be too big. And I also wanted to have some fruit because this plant is like, I don't know, like three years, maybe even four years old. I don't know exactly. And no, this is not like a real lemon. <laughs> this is a representable for like you guys, my subs. But yeah, I did trim it down quite a bit. And this is so sad to see like all those healthy looking leaves. This stuff, when you just break one of those leaves, if you like tear it like this, the smell that comes out of here, it's so good. It smells like lemon, of course. So that's really interesting. Do you want to smell it? You cannot have it because I don't know if it's toxic, but you can smell it. it smells interesting, right? So yeah, I am going to get rid of these leaves. I am feeling sorry for the plant, but you know, sometimes you have to cut it back a little bit to make it stronger. And that's what I'm trying to do here. And it looks more neat. It looks, you know, more tidied up. So that's good. By the way, I tried putting these into a vase to see like if there would be some like, you know, roots developing, but of course there wasn't. But if you look at this, like the leaves are so beautiful and so big. And this is like a homegrown plant. It never has been outside. So it's like the leaves are perfect. Like, look at them. The leaves are unmarked. There's no holes in them. You know, they're just super, super pretty. I love it. I wish I could just send everyone one of these leaves to just, you know, snap it and smell it. It's so wonderful. I, by the way, had a D&D &D night recently and I came up with the idea, maybe I can make like a little spell book out of the spells that I use. That would be really cool. And also my sister bought me this eyebrow dye. So I am going to dye my eyebrows too. That would be very convenient because I have non-existing eyebrows. And she has some of this stuff because I want to experiment a little bit with makeup. I want to use this stuff on top of my eyeliner because every time I wear eyeliner, I dread it because it just mushes into my, like, you know, the, the thing in my eye. Every time I do it there, then it rubs off on the the, like the, the rest of the lid of my eye and it's very annoying and she was like you know you can just top it with some of this invisible powder stuff in the past i have used some stuff to you know top it with but that was just like eyeshadow like a, a white-ish eyeshadow or something but that's you know that that sort of like removes the whole idea of like eyeliner and so you know i'm going to try this soon maybe do like a little glow up with the eyebrows some makeup i also bought an eye pencil some new eyeliner stuff so let's see about that that would be cool
problem with them. So I haven't worn uh, jeans in over a year. And I was like, you know, let's try on one of those like uh, jeans that I do have. So like I do have jeans that fit me, even on my highest weight, but they are just not comfortable and they're just, ugh, I don't know. And so I have been wearing like these sports pants and like these very, very loose pants that I discovered they have. But today I was like, yeah, let's try on my old jeans. So let's do that. So this is what they look like. The last time that I wore these was over a year ago. And I was pretty nervous about it but eventually like they did kind of fit but oh my god it was so tight my belly almost exploded out of there so no not a really good idea to wear right now but yeah we're getting there so i don't know but maybe in five kilos or 11 pounds i will be able to wear it again and also my bum oh my god it was so tight so all of my cats are a little bit nervous today because I haven't fed them yet. Because I am going to bring Mucker to the vet. He is a little bit older, they are going to clean his teeth and so, you know, he cannot eat. And so I'm also not feeding the rest because, you know, it's it's so sad to just give them food and then Mucker hears like the, the little, like the, the kibble sound and he's like, oh my god, I want food too. I don't know, maybe I'm reading too much into it, but you know, we'll have to leave in, let's see, about like 15 minutes so I'm going to make some breakfast for my Myself, I will feed them afterwards. I'll have to show you how they react on this thing. You can buy this by the way, I, I saw it on Amazon, but look at it, that little one, he's going crazy over this light. Mucker. Hey, hey. So this is what I ended up wearing. I can really start seeing that I've lost a substantial amount of weight and I can not only see it, I can feel it better than I see it. I'm at the vet. Today they are going to clean his teeth. He is 13, he's pretty old and his uh, teeth needed to be done. He's not too nervous, at least from what I can tell. But still, you know, it's not a nice thing. And also he has to go down under and that's always something to be worried about. So let's just take him in, give him a little cuddle, cutie. I'm sorry, cutie, but we have to go to the dentist sometimes too. A bird making its nest in one of these things. Oh my God, that's so funny. I will let them know though, because you know, the birds are pretty safe here because, you know, no predators and stuff. Look, there it is again with some stuff in his mouth. <laughs> oh my god, funny animal. He's like looking, is this my house? No, it isn't. Hmm. You have to have the one on the end. Oh, or that one, that's, that's fine too. So I am thinking about buying another one, but then again, I think I have... Like, you know, there's some metal in here. I think I have like the metal frame in my storage room. So, you know, I only would have to make one of these uh, covers myself, which seems not that hard. So I am going for this one though. I do have an old one, but that's, that's an old one. So I have to replace it. It's on top of my closet in my um, bedroom. Yip Yip likes to use it. Oh, look at it. It's a bunny. I love how they have pretty big cages for them. You know, it's pretty spacey. It's so cute. And then right there is another one, but it's a little bit shy. <laughs> oh, look at it, it's so cute. I don't really like the idea of people selling their pets at a store, but this store isn't that bad. They only have like eight of those cages with critters, then four of the cages with um, rabbits, some fish, and some birds. The birds I do find, you know, I don't know, I don't like it. These ones are so cute too, look at them. Oh my god, they're so cute. Something I also like is these bunnies, they are 50 euros, which is pretty expensive for what I'm used to, but also they come included a vaccination and that's really good. So they, you know, encourage people to vaccinate their animals. Oh my god, these are so cool. Look at them. This is so cool. They're cute. Also, look at the stem of this plant. That's it's like a zebra. Super interesting. Oh my god, look at this thing, it's so cute. <laughs> it's a duck. I keep saying it, but so many things are cute. But yeah, let's go home. So I need to go to the store really, really quick. I do need some powdered sugar because tonight it is like, it, tomorrow it's pancake day and then tonight I want to make poffertjes. And I also maybe drank my Fanta and so I want to buy some new Fanta. Uh, yes, sugar free of course. Or they don't have the sugar free one actually, but they do have like low sugar and it is like six calories for like a glass. So, you know, that's, that's fine too. So let's go in, let's get myself those two items and that's it. Then I will go home like for real. Some powdered sugar. 
some Fanta and I've also really been craving some pickles so I am going to also buy some pickles so I'm going to go for this one it's not like the sour one it's like sweet and sour so let's see Yuki's first experience with catnip <laughs> he's not super interested okay hey hey pistache pistache So everything is pretty nice and clean again. Look at my cutie sleeping over there. They love their wall spot. They jump from the floor onto this little like uh, cabinet, which I need to dust. Then they jump up on their like cat tree. And then from there they jump up on this thing. I designed it myself, it's really, really cool. I still have to make pillows for it, like pillows that fit in there like perfectly. I still have to do that. But look at how comfy he is. So during vacuuming, I always end up vacuuming my like socks because they end up being filled and stuffed with like lots and lots of cat hair. And it does help a little bit, but it doesn't make like a dick, a dick, oh my god. It does help a little bit, but it doesn't make a big difference. So I just heard some beeping from my um, microwave. I have cooked myself some noodles and I'm going to eat these with some veggies and some chicken. And I made those earlier, so I just only have to heat them up. That's what I'm doing right now. Yeah, the bottom is still cold, so let's dump them in there for a little bit longer. This is what my dinner looks like and I agree, it looks super yummy. However, I was vacuuming and I totally forgot about the noodles, so they are pretty much cooked to mush, but it's, it's fine. I am going to eat it. Afterwards, I'm going to jump into my car and I'm going to head over to my vet. They did call me to tell me like the surgery went well, but they would give me another call to, to tell me like, okay, he's awake now. So after eating this, I'm just heading over there and I will just wait in front of like the, the vet. So bon appetit. Eet smakelijk. Which, by the way, eet smakelijk means enjoy your meal, but it's Dutch. I also just prepped my kitchen a little bit because I want to make poffertjes, which are these things. If you see like this clip, it already went up because I normally I film things in like the order that I sh shoot them in. Shot, shoot, yeah, you shoot footage, right? But every now and then, sometimes I do have like certain holidays or whatever. I want to go videos up on the day that, you know, the, the celebration is celebrated. And so you've already seen this video probably. Oh, I am being cold by my vet. So they called so I can get Mocker. I am going to eat first, like he's okay. He's just like in his little bench over there. But I am planning on making these tonight and that's about it for today. And also, of course, a lot of water with my dinner. So uh, let's eat and then I'm going to get Mocker. I'm not going to vlog. I just want him to come home as quick as possible and I'll vlog when he's home. Sure, Jan. A few moments later. Yeah, yeah, be so blij. <laughs> come on, Mocker. Oké. Okay. Hey, oe, poe, 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 poe. Pas op. Pas op. Hey. Are you so happy? Oh, you're so cute. Oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god, come on. Cutie. I'm sorry, you have to go back into your bench for a little bit, okay? But after that, I will have some wet food for you. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god, I've missed you too, cutie. Later that same evening. Hello Lemfam, so I am done making these poffertjes for my video. Like I said, you probably already saw it go up. This is what they ended up looking like. I just made a little thumbnail. I am using my green screen for doing that. But since I'm done with it, I can just take it, slide it down, put it back into its thing. 
and shove it in the bag like normal. These look so good. I'm going over to my sister to bring them some. I'm also going to eat some, but I don't think I'm going to eat like uh, a quarter of this. I'll have to see if it fits into my uh, calories for the day. If you don't like cats, this is not a video for you. <laughs> I'm a little bit late with that, but this video has been filled and filled with cat footage. This is a cat friendly channel. Cats come first. But these are my sister's cats. One of them had a broken leg, but he's doing very good. He has a cast and he only has to wear it for another week. And the other one, Kippy, is also doing very good, as usual. Hello Lemfem, so that's it for today's video. I had a lot of fun. I want to thank you very much for watching. I hope that you have a wonderful day wherever you are and I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Oh my god, seriously, cat filled video. Bye Lemfem. I'm sorry, excuse me. Do you hate me that much? Seriously? You're the night sky trying to make me see your stars.